I'm Heather with Stafford Auto Group. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about your Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS. Now, your tire pressure is very crucial in keeping your vehicle safe on the road. Having an underinflated or an overinflated tire can cause tire damage and even reduce your gas mileage. Keeping your tires properly inflated can improve and maintain your vehicle's handling, performance, safety, and longevity. With the help of your TPMS, your vehicle can tell you if your tire is overinflated or underinflated. Your TPMS is an electronic monitoring system your vehicle has to monitor air pressure in your tires. How convenient, right? This light will appear on your dashboard as a tire icon with an exclamation mark inside of it. It may come on while you're driving, it may come off and on here and there, or it may come on flashing. Now the temperature in your tire is affected by the temperature outside. As the air gets cooler, the pressure will drop in the tire, and conversely, the pressure increases as the temperature rises. Now this can cause the TPMS light to come on when you start your car on a cold morning. Now once you've driven and the tires warm up, the light should go off. When you turn on your vehicle and the TPMS light is flashing for about 60 to 90 seconds and then stays on, this means that you have a malfunction and one or more of the components in the system is not operating correctly. Say you're driving along and your TPMS light has just come on. Don't immediately panic. This is just your vehicle trying to tell you that one or more of your tires is in need of inspection. What I recommend doing is carrying one of these flip diffies with me at all times in my vehicle, a tire pressure gauge. So then when the light does come on, you can grab your air gauge and simply unscrew the valve stem cap on the tire. Place the air pressure gauge up to the valve stem and press hard until the needle moves on the gauge. You can then read your pressure, which is measured in PSI. Most vehicles are going to recommend a reading in the 30s, but refer to your owner's manual for your specific tire pressure requirements. Now if you have too much air, you can release air by lightly pushing on the valve stem with the gauge. So if your tire is severely low or flat, go ahead and put on your spare tire, get home or get to the nearest service location near you. Make sure that you do check the tire pressure in that spare tire as well. Now your TPMS is not meant to take the place of regular tire checks. Make sure that you're checking your tires oftenly. If you have any questions, please give us a call here at Stafford or just come in and visit our service department. You can also use our online service scheduler to make an appointment. I hope this video helped you out today and I will see you on the next Stafford How-To episode. Thanks for watching.